And welcome back. Well, we think of identity theft as a consumer problem, but today we're talking about identity theft as a disease in the form of Alzheimer's. Yeah, our next guest lost her mother to Alzheimer's, but she says when you lose a loved one to this disease, you lose them several times over. Judith Harway is a local author, poet, and professor of writing, and her new book is titled Sundown, A Daughter's Memoir of Alzheimer's Care. We're super excited to welcome mm -hmm. you here to the show. Thanks Thank you so here. much for being here. Thank you very much. I think that your, your story and your your experience with your mom is something that way too many Americans are experiencing because I was reading in your information right now there are six million Americans mm -hmm. who are affected with this disease right. but it doesn't just affect them as we know with so many illnesses it affects the entire family and friends too I think that's one of the reasons why it's so important to be talking and writing about it because there are six million people currently diagnosed the numbers are going to be increasing as the generation people my age it's a big demographic bubble and um, every time you've got one person affected you've got a whole family affected and you know the loved ones the the caregivers the children mm -hmm. um, it just it's a huge uh, problem and I didn't realize it affects women more oftentimes than men in fact you said it's one in six women versus one in ten men right do you, do you know if there's a reason for that I don't know medically, okay. although I have to say that one thing I learned in my research for the book is that there's strong genetic indicators, which doesn't exactly comfort me. Yeah, right, <laughs> sure. right. I was going to ask you if you kind of live in fear of having Alzheimer's. I think um, everyone might. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but certainly, you know, both my grandparents had it and my mother had it. So mm. I think I'm a pretty good candidate. But on the other hand, who knows what's going to happen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, there's a tremendous amount of research going on. And I think also our approaches to treatment are changing. Um, my book was partly about how uh, the system that we have, it can be very hard, even if you're well prepared, to find a safe place for a parent with Alzheimer's and to, to access the, the treatment that you need. Um, but I think there's tremendous um, moves forward in advocacy and in treatment right now. Mm -hmm. The Alzheimer's Association is a great example of an organization that's serving the needs of families. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your, your book is called Sundown. What does, the, what does the name of the book mean to you? That's a great question. Um, my mother, there's a phenomenon in Alzheimer's called sundowning, which basically means that late in the day, um, a person's body rhythms are thrown off. Um, late in the day when they're tired and the light is failing, um, people tend to have more problems and more symptoms. And my mother went through an awful lot of sundowning when she was in her final weeks of life. And um, ironically, at the time, I had this old dog who was doing the same thing at home. <laughs> and wow. so I sort of was watching this parallel thing of like several love beings that I loved, like finding it hard to sort of hold themselves together mm -hmm. as the light faded. And it was right around the time of the winter solstice. And so I just, um, it seemed like the natural place to go with the title. Yeah. I love that you It's you also know, the end of life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah sundown. sundown. Yeah. yeah. I love that you talk specifically about caregiving because you bring up a very important thing and I think that is that the most common profile of a caregiver yep. um, in our country is a woman in her forties or her fifties who works full time outside the home, which means that they're often caring for an yeah. elderly um, parent or loved one. And then at the same time, if you're in your 40s and 50s and you're working full time like me, then you're also raising many times children Absolutely. as well. So you've got sort of this, you know, we talk about the sandwich generation, but there's plenty of stress just raising children and having a full time job. But then you think about talking about an aging parent that you're caring for, someone who is potentially um, ending, you know, the, the, their life is coming to an end, but they also sometimes don't recognize you and you're dealing with the emotional aspects right. of losing a parent who sometimes doesn't recognize you and is having, you know, behavior and emotional, um, you know, times where they're off. Well, and I think that's why the stories of the sandwich generation need to be told. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I didn't, you take whatever life throws at you. Um, and in this case, I was, I really fit that profile. You know, I was in my early 50s. Um, I teach full time, I have two young adult children, I was trying to get my kids through college. I mean, there was just so much pressure in, in every area. Um, but I guess what I wanted to do with that was to connect my story to other women's stories. Um, because every story is particular and every story is universal. And, you know, if this is happening to me and I fit the profile of the typical caregiver, then 
I'm speaking for other women and I want to speak to other women. And I really would like, if, if nothing else in this book, to just sort of validate um, what other women are going through. Um, it's not like I only want women to read the book, but, but certainly that um, uh, there's just a sense that this is, this is a story that needs to be out there right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If there's somebody watching who's a, a caregiver for a loved one with Alzheimer's and, and they, you know, they, they, they don't know, I guess they're, they're struggling, what, what would you want to say to those people? First, I'd want to say you're not alone. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, I, I was trying to write the book that I needed that I wish I'd had <laughs> when I was going through it. Um, second, I'd want to say it's really important to reach out to the resources like the Alzheimer's Association, um, which strangely I didn't know about and I didn't connect with the Alzheimer's Association until I started talking with Tom Lavacek, the executive director um, here in Milwaukee, um, after my book was already written and published. Mm -hmm. um, and he was tremendously supportive. But it's, it's just, you, there are people out there who can help um, but you also need to be aware that you have to be very proactive. Um, my, my parents planned really well for their retirement. They had resources. Um, they had moved into a retirement community. Um, <clears throat> and it still is a very challenging, difficult thing to deal with. Mm -hmm. I love that you talk about the ravages as well as the redemption of yeah. being a caregiver um, for someone, loving someone who has Alzheimer's. Thank you so much for joining mm -hmm. us. We're going to talk about a great book signing, an event where people can meet you this evening as well as hear you read from the book Sundown. It's happening tonight at Boswell Book Company on Downer. You can also find out more about this great book if you visit her website. It is Judith Harway, H-A-R-W-A-Y.com. It was great to meet you. Thanks, Thanks again. So much. Thank you so much for having Appreciate me. It. So